Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you my top three maternity silk wraps for 2024. For all of these looks, I will be using a four meter silk. These we get from Mia Stilo. We will be linking this underneath for you to see where we get them from. Um, this one is a set that comes with a top and a tie. So for our first look, I'm going to measure from the edge of the silk to your client's shoulder. I'm gonna pop her on this shoulder, sorry. So we wanna make sure that it's dropping as far down as the floor. Then we're gonna do a simple twist on the shoulder. And then we're gonna use the tie to tie around the waist and keep everything in place. Now these silks, I've got a shiny side and a matte side. So I always make sure the shiny side is facing forward. And it doesn't need to look neat when we first go around with a tie. I'm just going to go to your arm and this one. Because we'll come back around and make sure this looks good afterwards. We want to make sure that this is nice and tight at the back. Tight enough to keep everything in place. But obviously we don't want to cut it too tight. Um, we want your client to still feel comfortable. Now, I'm going to come back around the front. Making sure everything is looking neat and tidy and is positioned where I want it. And then I'm going to do the same in the back. Now, the good thing about this one is because we've only gone floor length with the front, we've got loads of material to play with at the back. And what we can do with this then is use it for a little bit of movement for a train toss. And what we can also do is bring the split round a little bit here. And then can you bend your knee for me? So we've got a split around the front as well. This is look number one. So look number two, I'm going to take the tie off and we're going to be using the silk just as a skirt this time. So I'm going to try and find the centre. When we found the middle, shiny side out and we're going to tie just around bump. Now this, again, needs to be tight enough that we're holding the weight of the silk, but not too tight that we're cutting off circulation. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay, fab. So for the top, we are gonna be using, we won't be using the tie for this one, just the top part of the silk. Now these do have seams on them, so just be mindful of where we're starting so that we don't end up with a seam on the front. Um, again, shiny side out. Can you lift your arm for me a second? So we're gonna start this side. Get your client to put their arm down so it's helping you keep the weight of the silk up. We're gonna go up and over this side, down under here, around the back. And then this is going to help hold this side up. And then back up and over on this side. Now again, I'm going to neaten this up once I've tied it off. So now your client doesn't need to be holding on so tight on the sides because we've taken the weight off the back. Just a simple bow, not tying it any particular way, just a bow on the back. Again, making sure it's tight enough to hold the weight of the silk but not cutting off circulation, okay? Yeah. Yeah, fab. And then I'm gonna come back around the front, making sure everything is looking nice and neat. If we need to arrange any of the edges, we'll do that then before we start taking any images. There we go. And again, we've got plenty of silk on both sides for train toss. And plenty of movement in this one. Look number three, we are still using um, the majority of the silk as a skirt, um, but I want the, the tie to be on the side this time. So I'm going to loosen this off just so we've got a bit of wiggle room to be able to bring this round this side. So tie in exactly as we did before, but just on the side. Now I tend to have a little bit of excess on this one when it's around the front, just so that we can tuck it in and it's less noticeable 
as a tie. And I'm just going to undo the top. And we're going to retie this top using the smaller tie that comes with it. Sorry, tied you up another. So I'm going to find the centre. I'm going to use the smaller tie for a knot. I'm then going to bring it round the client's neck. Can you lift your hair for me a second? Thank you. Again, just a simple tie around the back of the neck. Thank you. Then, making sure shiny side is out with the silk, we're going to bring it round the back. Hopefully you can pop your arm down, keep it there for me. Same again on this side. This. And again, simple tie around the back. Tight enough that we're holding the weight of the silk. We're not cutting off circulation. Does that feel okay? Okay. And at this point then we'll come back round if we need to loosen the tie off a little bit just to make sure it all looks nice and neat. And everything is covered. Now with this one, because we have a side tie, we can get knee out, but we've still got plenty of excess fabric then for the movement and doing the dress toss as well. And that's look number three. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and if you find it helpful, we've got plenty of other videos for you to watch and many different ways that we wrap silks. So go check them out. See you next time, guys. Bye.